I receive notifications about it. Uh, okay, so you can go to this. There we go. Coliseum. You can check out the Coliseum. That's where I post old attorneys, and that's how people can get in. All right, but we're going to see... Okay, a rescue ace is going to start with Wanted to go ahead and search out Black Witch. Discard Turbulence, Summon Black Witch effects. I mean, the opponent's going to need a hand trap. Uh, if you don't hand trap rescue ace, like Turbulence is very strong. It's kind of hard to break. Uh, I guess Voiceless Voice does have the barrier, though, which could end up being pretty good. But they're going to bring out Hydrant and then Hydrant effect to go search. That's fine. Uh, soon gonna get your Battle of Legend tourney pause champ. Isn't that like Nationals format? I don't know. No idea. But no, nah, I've done I've done a post LED e tournament already. But I don't know when I'm ho I don't know when I'm gonna host another one. Said yeah, it's in June. Yeah, it's like really far away. It's like months away at this point. Uh, but now they're gonna go airlifter. I think they searched Preventer, which would make sense. I can't really tell, but they have Turbulence in Grave. Yeah, that's Preventer, that's Preventer. So they're able to, like, banish, summon out, uh, go for SP. Okay, are they linked those off now to go for SP? Does that mean they already have another Turbulence in hand? Yep, they do have another Turbulence in hand. All right, sick. So summon that out. Uh, that is summon five, because Witch, Hydrant, Airlifter, SP, Turb. So even if they drop Rock here... Uh, you just don't do anything. You're like, sure, sure, give me token. And then summon Preventer by banishing Turbulence and then link off and then get back to it. So Nib doesn't do anything by itself. So they're going to need another hand trap. As long as the opponent doesn't mess up, you just say, okay. Yeah, you don't chain SP. So they might have another hand trap. Kind of doubt it, but they could. So go ahead, summon out the token to their field. Alright, do they have Valor? Uh, so Rescue Ace still good? No, Rescue Ace is ass. I, I, I do not think the deck is very good. I do not think the deck is very good. I'm not gonna lie. But Link Off, I mean, hey, if you go first, and you know, you draw a hand like this, that's uh, very strong. Impulse is still very strong going second. A very strong engine card in this deck. You know, get the Fire Engine, go Airlifter, Airlifter Search. Uh, now they're going to set Extinguish, Contain, Emergency, and Rescue. That's fine. So they're just reading over the traps real quick. Making sure they know what they do. Alright. Uh, and then, yeah, shuffle them up. So, uh, literally just as Infinite Forbidden is legal. Uh, DBG, my man, are we watching JCS Inspired today? No, I'm not. But I will be going over a Master Chef video after the Greek Open. Because I was told to do that. Uh, Nim Nim was like, bro, you should you should commentate over a Master Chef video. I want to see how it goes. So I was like, honestly, I will. But I feel like, uh, I'm not going to lie. I've never, I don't think I've ever watched Master Chef. But just by like clicking on the thumbnail, like, I don't know, bro. They, they might be trying a little too hard. Their food might not be that good. But they're going to go ahead, bonfire for Poplar, jeez. So they're going to be able to keep comboing here. Poplar, go search out original. That's fine. I don't think they're going to do it here, but something you can do technically is Poplar, Spell, Trap Zone, Hydrant, and then whenever you activate your traps, you have Hydrant face up on field, so you get the second effect of them still, which is pretty nice. Uh, but I doubt they're going to do that here. Uh, maybe if they don't have anything else to set, they will. But now they're just going to link off, go up into Anima. Imagine they go Anima effect, try to take. Uh, looking forward to it. July 19th. Oh, yeah, that's like literally Nat's format. But, yeah, yeah. Nat, I, I actually just booked Nat's today. Like, booked four Nat's. So, I'll definitely be there. Uh, link off Anima. Turbulence. Go for SP. SP effect. Banish Rock. So, we've gone through two SP, but we decided to keep the IP on field. Maybe we could have linked off, but I guess we have Appalooza set up on their turn now. Or maybe something else. But they did actually spell Trap Zone Hydrant. So the trap isn't live right now because they need to have a Rescue Ace body on field. Um, but the second effect of it with Hydrant will now always be live. So now Voiceless Voice probably just admits defeat here. 
and not showing what deck they're on. My bad. My bad. Activate pre-prep go search. I don't know. It's like round one, too, so, like, no one's going to know what you're playing, like, guaranteed. And it's a regional, too, so, like, no one will really know what you're playing until later on. But they're going to search out the Skull Guardian and Prayer. Uh, Sir Arvis can also help against the back row. So on resolution, activate emergency to go summon send. Uh, this could just be going for Preventer. And then Preventer to summon out Airlifter there. Could have also done this in the draw phase or standby phase to try to play around talents better. Uh, but just summon Preventer, send Preventer, Preventer effect, summon out Airlifter, Airlifter effect now to go search. Uh, grab out Emergency, or Headquarters, no, it's definitely Headquarters, yeah, definitely Headquarters there. Uh, surely 2 SP isn't necessary. And in Rescue Ace? No, I, I definitely think you play 2 SP in Rescue Ace. Like, for sure. For sure. Because you summon it turn one and then you normally link it off to go up into your plays and then a second sp is nice uh but now they're gonna go ip effect to make appalooza all right sure so that's fine yeah that's fine uh activate barrier now yeah we don't have ip in the sp to get rid of that which kind of sucks because uh, that card could end up being a big problem but they don't have talents here. Otherwise, they would have talents taken the Appalooza. Uh, and they can't extinguish Pop. Uh... Actually, can you? Nah, wait. I'd have to read over IP. Uh, I forgot SP can be used to dodge Imperm on Turbulence. Oops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's really good in Rescue Ace. Uh, but okay, they went ahead and searched now. Uh, yeah, nothing on resolution. They have low that they can normal summon out and activate the effect. I can't really see what's in their hand. We know Scar Guardian, low, prayer. Uh, look, kind of looks like another low in their hand. But we know it's not Talons. Uh, said Brickless Brick. Nah, I don't know. I don't think Voiceless Bricks that much. I don't think it bricks that much. Yeah, like Pot of Prosperity. You could play the Branded cards in it. Or Diviner. Like, you have, like, a few different engines that you can play. Yeah, it looks like they're playing Branded stuff. Saw a lot of fusions in their extra deck. Uh, we did see Mud Dragon, too. So, that means they play Super Poly somewhere in the list. So, now, look at the top six cards. We see Blessing there. Uh, Triaz. Uh, you could go for Triaz. So, that way, Low can dodge Trap. But if you grab Triaz, then they're not going to trap the low. They'll try to trap Skull Guardian. Actually, that could be fine, though. It probably is just grab Triaz, right? So that way you can go, like, uh, activate. What do you do? Activate, ritual spell, tribute, Triaz, summon out Skull Guardian, effect. They trap it. And then you have normal summon low. And now barriers live, so now they can't trap you again. Yeah, that seems good. Yeah, so grab out the Triaz there. Um, but they still have Apo that we have to beat over. Um, Sararvis won't be able to protect while that is there. Looks like they're thinking about normal summoning low. I guess you could normal low and then go into, like, Anima. Try to beat Apo twice. It only has 16 attack right now. Now, does mixing Voiceless with Drytron make it better? No. No, no, no. I definitely do not think it does. I, I think... Voiceless sets up a lot of interruptions with just engine. Depending on the hand, too. Like, having Blessing is, like, a really good extra interruption now. So, like, the engine can just do more. Uh, if you draw, like, Trap or Blessing, that's fine. If you draw a Combo, then, like, Barrier can search Blessing. Blessing grab follow-up, then Dynamondo and the Trap on their turn. Or, like, something like that. Uh, or you can even go Blessing on their turn, Trap on your turn, so we have Trap to summon out Sir Arvis, the old man, and then you still have Trap Pop. Oh my god! Okay, hold on. Uh, hold on, 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 hold on. I messed up. I messed up. Let me, let me, let me turn off gameplay. I'm literally, I'm just gonna, I'm literally just gonna get Twitch Turbo right now. I'm literally just gonna get Twitch Turbo right now, hold on. It's only going to take like two seconds. I had it before, but then I canceled it. Okay, cool. And now I got it. Sick.
That was literally like two seconds. Alright, sick. Alright, so back to the gameplay. <laughs> nice nice little ad there, nice little ad there. Uh, so now, normal low, activate low effect. They're thinking on how they want to stop this. So I see Nib in the hand of Rescue Ways. Which most likely won't be that good. It could end up being good though. Yeah, it actually could end up being good though. Because like we can... Nah, it won't be, right? There's, like, no shot. Because we're not going to have a way to, like, pop Skull Guardian. So they're going to go activate Ritual Spell. And then Ritual Spell, Tribute, Special Summon Out Skull Guardian. We can tribute the Trias in hand. Uh, they're going to go activate Extinguish in response to pop low. And then it won't be able to be used for the rest of the turn. So now we should probably chain the Trias there, tribute it for cost. If they Appalooza Trias, sure, it's the same outcome. Uh, so they won't Appalooza it there. So activate, tribute as cost, any response. Nope, that should just be fine. And then, yeah, actually you want Trias to come out. Because it has the chance of making Rock stronger too in the future. Um, and then we have Contain that we can use on the Skull Guardian before they get to bring out the low again. And then barriers live. So yeah, that is fine. Uh, they're looking through their graveyard thinking, I mean, they have Preventer. Technically, they could book a Moon the Skull Guardian in response to the effect instead of trying to contain it. But you have to choose one or the other. You're not going to get to do both. Oh, hold on. Let me, let me pull up chat again. Pull it out the way. Uh, I thought Konami can't play ads. No, they, they can. Why, why, okay, like, I don't know, why, why couldn't they play ads? I feel like it'd be good for them to just, like, I don't know, like, the, you know, make a little bit of extra money off the stream, and then they're able to use that for, like, prize support. I mean, the Opens do have, like, actual prize support for a regional. Like, if you win, you get, like, a giant card, a Nintendo Switch. Like, there's not, there's not too many things. Uh, there's, like, not too many tournaments that you get, like, that good of prize in that. Uh, but they're going to go Chain Rescue to Special Summon out the opponent's low from the graveyard. Because they do have Hydrant on their field right now. And then Chain Contain on the Skull Guardian to shut it down. And then that's just game. Yeah, they have Pre-Prep plus Barrier in hand. I don't know why they... I don't know why they showed what deck they're on. Like, there, there was really no point of doing that. Uh, there was, like, no shot they were winning this game there. So, that's just game now. Yep, they admit defeat. Yeah, they shouldn't have done that, because now the opponent can, like, appropriately side deck game two, three. I mean, they can make Sky Crisis here, sure, uh, but Sky Crisis is just never going to be enough by itself against the Rescue Ace follow-up. They have, like, four cards in hand. We know one's Headquarters. We know one's Original. They have a Hydrant on their field that they can send for free for the Original. Yeah, so they just submit the feet. Yep, fair enough, fair enough. Hey, so, sometimes you should just admit defeat. I, I guess maybe, though, like, it is also round one at a regional. So, your opponent could just play really, really, really poorly. And you could end up winning because of that. So, I guess it's actually, like, fair. I guess it's actually, like, fair. I'm not going to hate on that one too much. If it was, like, a later round, then maybe. Uh, but, okay, let's go ahead. Or maybe if you knew you were playing against a good player. Also, don't know... Either of these players, I don't know if they're known or not. I don't really know Greek players at all. Or, like, the Greek community. Uh, Low-key, ran our game three back so many times in my head. I'm supposed to attack with Witch before original Sinful Spoil. But, low-key, uh, just the fact I knew you were playing Ogre had me terrified using my island earlier. Yeah, I'd have to run through that game again. I don't know if I made mistakes. I haven't actually read over, like, the, the written feature match yet. But game three, there was only like, what, like eight minutes left or something when we started that game? Seven minutes? So I literally had the combo in like a minute and a half. And then like, you were also playing fast. So like, yeah, we, we were just playing fast. So it wasn't like the greatest game ever. Because I should have scooped game two faster, to be honest. I was just putting you on make like horrible mistakes. Which I don't think I should have done. Which I don't think I should have done. I should have given us more time for game three. Uh, so that was like a little misplay on my end. 
Oh, is Voice to List an FTK deck or Bust deck? I mean, if it combos and it actually gets to combo well, it does kind of feel like an FTK. Like, with the Blessing and stuff now, the Trap, Skull Guardians, Sir Arvis twice, potential non-engine cards. Okay, so they're going to Imperm low, they just Sir Arvis to stop it. Yeah, so now Low's going to go ahead and bring out... What was that card? No, nah, okay, okay. It, it must have been a Diviner. I was going to say, Loki looked like the Adventure Water Enchantress at the bottom there. But that just can't be real. Can't be real. Uh, hello, hello. What's poppin'? What's poppin'? Uh, it's Twitch playing the ad. I don't know if Konami even gets anything from it. Uh, you can't sub to the channel. Oh. Oh, they don't even have subs to their channel set up? That's weird. I don't know why they wouldn't, right? feel like it's like fine, but yeah, no, that's just Twitch running it then. Okay, now they get to uh, resolve. They're going to go barrier into the Sir Arvis old man. Sure, maybe they have like a Pot of Prosperity or a Branded Fusion to give them access to another spell. They're going to go, oh, Queen. Tribute Sir Arvis from the hand. Summon out Skull Guardian. The Skull Guardian effect. So they decided to just use it as levels. Interesting. They could have also just used low. Like they could have searched low and then used a low. Get that free body out. I guess decides not to do that. Grab out Safara Dragon Queen from the deck to the hand. Sure. Yeah, okay. This is not FTK. And then just pass turn. So they open up Safara Dragon Queen plus low. And they end on this through no hand traps. Because they Sir Arvis the hand trap. So it's practically just drawing like a called by for a hand trap. Uh, so rescue ways can definitely break this type of board. Uh, did you win your VIP qualifier? Uh, I, haven't, I haven't put in a VIP qualifier in like a year. The last VIP qualifier I played in I did win. It was insane. I played against my buddy game three, and, uh, like, we were playing, like, almost the exact same deck, card for card, and I knew when I joined the VIP, it was, like, a remote one, I knew when I joined the VIP qualifier, he was, like, the only opponent I had to be, like, afraid of, uh, cause, like, he knew my deck and everything like that, and he knew how to play the cashmere match well, so right before the tournament started, I, like, changed my side deck up and put, like, six cards in there just for him for the cashmere, Oh, it was so good. It was so good. I forget exactly what it was, but I know I had, like, anti-spell in the deck. Maybe something else, too. Uh, why didn't you go to the Indie Qualifier? Uh, I don't know. Like, I, I, I don't really care that much. And, like, I also don't have a Yu-Gi-Oh deck. Like, you want to see my Snake Eye deck? Hold on. I actually have a sick Snake Eye deck. Watch this. Hold on. Let me, let me make sure I got it up to the camera nice and well. You see this? Oh god, yes. Look at this. Oh god, yes. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yup, I don't own a single Snake Eye engine card. I also don't own SP Little Knight. I don't own a lot. I have, like, Imperm, Valor, Ash, Nip. I got those cards. I got those cards. I have, uh, I have Dark Charmer. I don't have Hita. I got some of them. But, I don't know, it's like boycotting tcg nice no i'm just not spending the money on the deck right now not at least not for a vip qualifier i don't really care like i don't know like do you really need a two round buy like i actually played against somebody at the last ycs and they had a two round buy and i played against them round three and they just weren't warmed up for the tournament which is crazy i start playing like saturday i wake up and I start playing Yu-Gi-Oh! And then I go to the YCS, and then I play Yu-Gi-Oh! And then we leave the YCS, and then we play Yu-Gi-Oh! And then Sunday, wake up, play Yu-Gi-Oh! And then, and then go on the, like, round nine, play more Yu-Gi-Oh! The second the tourney's over, go chill with a bunch of people, play more Yu-Gi-Oh! Monday, we were at the airport, playing more Yu-Gi-Oh! And then you can imagine what Friday is, too. I mean, it's just more Yu-Gi-Oh, right? I don't know, just like really warmed up for the entire weekend. Uh, DBG owned cards that are less than the McDonald's combo item. Uh, this is why he's not the D. This is why this DB grinder and not the local grinder. Yeah, I mean, I I am gonna own Snake Eye cards. I will own those cards soon, but just not yet. Just not yet. But they're gonna go 
airlifter effect. I mean, I, I should have ended up buying them before, but I thought the ban list was going to hit the deck harder. Also, like, whenever I go to a YCS, I'm able to borrow the stuff. So, like, that's nice. Not having to, uh, not having to buy anything. But they're going to go airlifter, go search. Yeah, it looks like they're just going to grab emergency. I mean, I assume it's emergency, unless they have something else in hand that would mean it's something else. Uh, but I was going to say, I can't see their hand, so I'm not sure. Okay. Oh, they're thinking about changing it. Are they going to grab rescue? No, okay, it's just emergency. Fair enough. Wake up, Yu-Gi-Oh. Faded Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, it's just, it's just always Yu-Gi-Oh. It's just always Yu-Gi-Oh. Whenever I'm at events, at least. Okay, so activate emergency, go summon, send, and then any response. Because they already... Okay, I was going to say, they already used Ash. Okay, so that's going to go through there. So, go special out, I guess, Hydrant or Turbulence. Probably just Hydrant, right? Yeah, summons out, Hydrant. Send Airlifter. Hydrant effect to go search. Okay, that... It can't be this hard. The line can't be this hard. I'm not going to lie. I, I'm just I'm curious on what they have in hand if they have to think this hard about the line. But summon out Hydrant. And then send to Airlifter. Now Hydrant effect to attempt to go search. Uh, okay, they're reading over Airlifter now. Sure. Maybe you should have done that when it was summoned. Uh, the Japan YCS deck lists are out if you want free content. I don't. I don't really care about the Japan YCS that much. It was, it's like it's really cool that it was like an eight thousand person event, but it was like the same amount of rounds as like our regular YCSs, and then at the same time it was like best of one. So like best of one kind of makes it to where like the deck lists are really skewed. And so like you have like Maxi. On top of it being a best of one, it's kind of hard to like convert that into like TCG knowledge very much. I'm looking forward to a gimmick puppet FTK at Nats. Hey, I, I, you know what? I'd be fine playing against Branded. It's like okay, as long as I'm not playing like a ten pie deck with tons of going second cards in it, should be okay. But now they banish Hydrant, summon out Preventer. Uh, so what they make like. SP, they make Hida, okay, uh, then they get Preventer to summon out Hydrant, sure, I was gonna say, cause you could go like SP target barrier, and then you can beat over low, so then they're forced to stop SP, and then you get Preventer to summon Hydrant, and then you know Hydrant goes through, but I guess they do have Ash in their grave, so this is like, pretty much the same thing. Yeah, now Hida Feko take. All right. Um, re reading over Hydrant again. Uh, no branded post infinite forbidden. I don't even know what that is. But no, no, it said not pure gimmick puppet. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't know what those cards do. No idea. But I mean, we we literally just got a new set like two days ago so like i'm really focused on like lede stuff like i don't know melodious is like fine there's no way i'm ta no way i'm taking a pure melodious deck to a tournament though that deck is ass i do not think that deck is very good uh maybe like a melodious engine voiceless seems much better than it was before even though they just got like one new card it's like fine uh snake eye still seems broken Ten pie is like a little bit awkward, especially if people are prepared for it. Like I've been testing the deck, and like everyone's so prepared for it that it's just so rough. And like there's no shot you're like actually choosing to go first with the deck because then you just lose the hand traps. And if you choose to go second, then you're just gonna get hit with like D barrier and stuff like that, which is rough. Or deck locked down, mistaken arrest. These cards are rough. First movement solo is forty dollars right now, apparently. That doesn't surprise me. Yu-Gi-Oh! prices are ridiculous. People are willing to pay, like, whatever for cards. Uh, and especially... Uh, I don't know. Like, I think you should always test with cards, too, before you buy them. I think, like, that... I think it's, like, okay if you buy cards, but you should definitely test with them before you buy them. Like, I've had buddies that bought the Voiceless Voice deck right when it came out, and they're like, Oh, 
I don't like this deck. And it's like, that's crazy. Buying the deck without testing it. But okay, now they're going to go summon Selene. Selene effect to gain counters. Alright, Selene effect to lose counters. Summon back out. And then... Okay, yeah, Skull Guardian to negate it. But now, Hydrant just wins the game. Unless if we have a hand trap. Yeah, effect, go search. Um... I don't think, the, the weird thing is, I don't think that, I think Rescue Ace already normal summoned out Airlifter, so I'm not too sure why we didn't just Skull Guardian negate Preventer, and then just like, you know, win the game, or at least force them to do like weird things, like heat into like, what, well, I guess, uh, no, because they didn't have anything in Graveyard to like Princess summon back, that'd be that good, so now they're going to go summon Turbulence, Banish, and then Turbulence Effect goes up. Uh, that's pretty good. It's not auto game though. Because they still have Barrier up. That card's pretty good. Uh, once they get Phantom of Ubel. Uh, yeah, it's Voiceless Voice. It's not my style after playing it on DB. Uh, don't you think Ubel is a scary deck? Nah, right now that deck is ass. I hope I get paired up against Ubel. But they're going to go Turbulence goes up. Uh, Yup, 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 that's fine. I heard the fusion's a good card, but I don't I don't I don't really know what those cards do that much right now. I just heard that they're good. But I guess I'll find out like what like June third, June fourth after YCS Indie. And then, yeah, because the second YCS Indie's done, then it's like full prep for Nats for like a month and a half. And then, oh, after Nats, like not the weekend after, because I'm pretty sure the weekend after, yeah, the weekend after is the European Nats, and then the weekend after that, I'm going to host a Worlds Tournament like I did last year to help try to get the uh, the American players prepared for Worlds again. That's the goal. That's the goal. Get them prepared. Keep rolling the snakes. Oh, yeah, there, 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 there's, a, there's a very good chance I end up playing Snake Eye. It's like... It's like pretty much between Snake Eye and Voiceless Voice. Maybe there's like some sleeper goo that I haven't found yet. But I'm definitely, like, I highly doubt I'll play Ton Pie. Highly, highly doubt I'll play that deck. I don't know. That deck's kind of troll. People are too prepared for it. Maybe if people get less prepared for it, then maybe I'll pull up with it. I guess we'll just have to see how the format shapes over the next, like, month. But okay, they went Rescue, Special Summon, back out, Ash Blossom. Now, they already went through Hida. Yeah, they're looking at Nightmare Phoenix. Yeah, you could go, like, Nightmare Phoenix, Princess. And then you could, like, Princess, Special Summon, back out. It's actually not, like, that good, though, right? Okay, but Summon out Nightmare Phoenix, Link off. If, if Rescue Ace... I wonder if Rescue Ace player has, like, a time card in their deck. In case it comes down to it. But it seems like they're going to win this game. We know that the Voiceless Voice player has the Safara Dragon Queen in hand for follow-up at least. Poplar, Spell Traps, and Hydrant. Alright, that's fine. So that way, next turn when we go Emergency and the Preventer and the Airlifter. We still have Hydrant back there to make our traps better. Nice. Uh, I really hate Fire King cards, but I swear they just win. Especially versus weird stuff. I stay getting cooked playing pure if I'm not playing mirrors. I don't know, like pure, 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 pure is kind of nice. Pure is kind of nice, but I don't know. I just I hate the Fire King cards so much. I just hate drawing those cards. Like whenever I go like second versus like the mirror match and I have like an Arvata in my hand, it's like wow, this card's just dead. I will say one thing: the combos in that deck are like. A lot easier, which is nice. Like, the turn one combos are a lot easier. Especially through hand traps. It feels, like, pretty linear for the most part. Unless you get hit with, like, multiple hand traps. And, like, you know, most decks become harder. But, hey, hey, we'll find out, Grady Bargers. <laughs> we'll find out. We'll find out. Because I told you, I'm testing with you. The, se the second you start testing, you know, let me know. I'm testing with you for this YCS. Oh, Fire King cards are banned from the Urena house. Ah, that's fair. That's fair. As they should be. As they should be. Unless, unless if I'm proven wrong, I'm not playing those cards. 
Okay, we SP banish Skull Guardian, which let Prayer banish to go summon, and now they're gonna get access to Low, and Low is gonna get them access to Barrier. I don't know why we just did that. That was crazy. They they played well that entire turn up until the very last play, which was SP banish Skull Guardian. They should just SP banish from their graveyard, but now they're gonna go summon Low, or they could have even just gone like, they admit defeat. Oh my god, there's no shot. We just spent like 15 minutes breaking the board. Oh my gosh, just a mess up at the end. Ah, that's so tough. That's so tough. I mean, mistakes happen. Mistakes definitely happen. I don't, also, I don't know if this is like a big stage or not. So maybe like there's like extra pressure applied. I have no idea. I don't think I've... I've seen one regional, I think, ever have a live stream, and it was in, like, a back room, so it wasn't even, like, there was, like, any pressure. It's kind of just, like, all right, cool, you're in this back room, now you get to play. I didn't, I didn't even get on stream, though. I was salty when I didn't get on stream for that regional, because I was, like, I, I think I went, like, X1 in the regional, but my last round opponent, they were going to put us on stream, but he had already been on stream, like, twice before, and I cooked that man respectfully respectfully i cooked that man they ended on like full cash board and i was like pearly happy poke 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 win felt so nice oh, if i can even make it to the ycs if i do we running it back in top cut god yes except next time we're running it back in the finals and slapping a 20 down in the middle of the table on stream man that, that would have been so funny if we actually did that just like Slap a hundred dollar bill down. Make make sure they got it in like the the pitcher for the for the written feature match. Umi would have cleared here. True. For voiceless voice, are we are we maining one Sir Arvis, one Pendulum Graph now? Uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure. I'm not completely sold on Pendulum Graph. I kind of like the double Sir Arvis. Oh, okay, they're gonna ash the original there. Sure. I mean, obviously they they have Turb. Yeah, they were just trying to get Hydrant off the field. Where were they even gonna go for there? I guess just another Hydrant. Okay, so summon out Turbulence effect resolved. That's tough. The Rescue Ace players gotta. They have they have to pick up the pace here. They have to. There's only six minutes left, and it's really not hard to set from deck. So emergency rescue contain. Extinguish. Yup, yup, yup. Set from deck. Shuffle them up. Set them. And then probably just pass turn at that point. Yeah, probably just pass turn at that point. Okay. But this is like one spot where like Link Karibo did matter. Because we could have just Link Karibo to away the Hydrant, but we were forced to Original Sunda. Otherwise, we could have went for like a Princess, then Original Sunda. Uh, but now we're going to Link off. Alright. Summon out Princess, Princess Effect, Special Summon back out, sure. Link those off, yup. That's fine. I gotta read the U-Bell card soon. Pendulum Graph for Meteor Burst. I mean, Meteor Burst is like, it's like fine. It's really good versus like the Tenpai matchup. But I don't know, like having double service is so good. Like just having access to like stop a hand trap with it. Because, like, you always want to have Sir Arvis in, like, the actual rotation. So that way you can, like, bring it out twice. But I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, they're going to go Emergency, Summon Preventer, Sun Preventer, Preventer Effect, Special Summon Back Out Hydrant. Yup. That's good. We have Whale on our field. Um, that won't be very good. Oh, sheesh. Okay, Super Poly away. Get rid of Hydrant plus Whale, and then that's, wait, yeah, yeah, they are both machines, okay, yeah, go, so go for Garua, yep, that's fine, so bring that out, and then anything there, because they have Rescue, and then they still have both traps live, imagine they hit him with Bell here, if they hit him with Bell, I'll, I'll gift five subs to chat. nope, alright, goes through, goes through, thank god, thank god, I'm too broke for that. That's like 10 McChickens. Okay, so now we're going to go normal summon out, low, low effect. Go ahead, place from the deck. They contain the stop that. Do we have tree as the chain? Probably not. Maybe even sided that stuff out. 
Uh, if they don't have anything else here, it's tough because they can't. Like, Sky Crisis doesn't do anything against Pop with Extinguish. So they're going to say Battle Phase Attack, Extinguish Pop. They don't get the draw because they had Hydron on field. I see Ash in their hand. Okay, so set one back row. Pass. Alright, so Rescue Ace does end up living. Hey, shout out to Mind Gaming 7100 for the gifted sub. Thank you. I appreciate you. Hey, see, see, I didn't have to gift the sub because I didn't have Bell, but thank you for gifting one. So that's, uh, that's for you not, wait, that's for you not getting you that burger. Yeah, my, my bad. I just, I didn't think I was going to be like that deep into the YCS on day two. And like literally the second the YCS was done, deck profile, go to the party. I should have got that burger though. I'm not going to lie. I was so hungry that night. Because I ate chicken tenders, and then that's like all I ate that entire night. That's actually all I ate until, uh, yeah, until I got home. Because I, I was sitting there at the airport. I literally looked at every food option at the airport. Every single food option. It was so expensive. There was this one place, and I was like, oh, that burger looks nice. And then it was like 15 bucks. And I was like, mm, I can just not eat for an hour. And then, and then our plane was just horrible, because literally, as we're about to take off, this woman's like, oh, I'm having a panic attack. I need to get off this plane. So then, then we had to take the plane back to the gate, and then, uh, I think it was like, the guy she was with was like, oh, we're, uh, there, there's no more flights out, because there was like a connection flight. There's like, yeah, there's no more flights, we won't be able to fly out until tomorrow night, and then all of a sudden she's like, oh, no, I'm fine, I'm fine, I can fly, I guess I have to, and they're like, no, get off this plane. So, and that took like an hour and a half. So then I was like starving. It was so bad, it was so bad. Yeah, the airport's a massive money pit, and oh no, not the plane turnaround. It sucked too, cause it was it was only like a one hour flight, and then it turned into like a two and a half hour flight because of that. It's such a L. When we money match and post LEDE, uh, very soon, very soon. If you want to, I just gotta I gotta get a little bit more comfortable with the cards before I start money matching with them. But I already have, I guess that money match lined up, and then I got a money match versus uh. Well, I can't think of the name. Nightfall. Got a money match against Nightfall. For sure. I played Nesh yesterday. He had a field spell for 10 pi that said Tyrant player has to end their turn after three summons. Oh, yeah. That's the... Uh, I forget the name of it. It's like Summon Breaker or something like that. You can search it off the Ancient Fairy Dragon. Yeah, that card's cool. Okay. Hita take. I mean, it, it's, it's game as long as we don't, like, fumble the bag and not enter Battle Phase within the next 43 seconds. So, Link off, make Selene, Selene, will gain counter, sure, but nothing the special summon back out, I guess. Make access code, banish, pop Skull Guardian, banish, pop Trap, or pop Low, okay. Uh, then, banish, pop, battle game. Alright, sick, sick. So, the Rescue Ace player does end up winning that game, and then... 